Hey, how's it going guys? This is Nicodemus. I'm going to be showing you a video on how to install a custom ROM on your Google Nexus 10. Uh, Google Nexus 10 made by Samsung. Uh, something's wrong with my computer, of course. Maybe it's time for a new laptop. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is there's links in the description showing you what you need to do for this ROM anyway. This ROM is the Liquid Smooth ROM based on AOSP, the Android open source project. Uh, just go to the link in the description and you'll bring up this thread over at XDA Developers. So big thanks to XDA Developers and the guys here, the, all the devs that do all this hard work. Speaking of that, you scroll down here at the bottom, there's a PayPal donate button. Hey, if you guys are using this stuff, don't hesitate to give these guys five, ten dollars, something, you know, something to help them out. If you want to give them a hundred bucks, go for it. Maybe I'll make myself a PayPal donation button. You can give me a dollar. I'd appreciate that. Or a subscribe would be nice. Anyway, so what we're going to do is um, go down here and you have links and they're also in the description for your Google Apps. The Goo Manager, if you want to download onto your device, so you can use it to download ROMs and other things straight to your Android. Now, if you don't use the <clears throat> link in the description and you want to click on here in the thread, make sure you're downloading the correct one for the for the device. Beta two is what we're what we're working with here, and if you are going to do this on your Nexus 10, you need to download. Manta, that is the code name for the Nexus 10. Okay, if you do another one, you could possibly brick your device. Although, you may be able to fix that, but you don't want to do it anyway. So, okay, so you go down here and first you want to download the ROM, click on beta 2. And this is the Google Nexus 10, so make sure you download the Manta Liquid JB version 2.1 Beta 2 Manta Zip. You need to wait 10 seconds so you're able to download it, and it should pop up and download automatically, or a window should pop up automatically. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Now I'll go back and download. The Google Apps. These are the 4.2.1 Google Apps. And I'll save those as well. So the Google Apps and the Liquid JB version 2.1 Manta. Make sure you get Manta for the Google Nexus 10. Okay. I got it downloaded. So we're going to move the Google Apps and the Liquid JB version 2.1 beta 2 over and I'm going to put it in my download folder of the internal storage on the Nexus 10. You don't have to put it necessarily in that directory. That's just where I always put things when I'm going to flash them on a device. So. That's it. You don't unzip them or anything before you put them in there. You leave them like that. And now they're on the Nexus 10, so we're going to switch over to the camera and uh, show you how to put these on. Okay, guys, over here on the Nexus 10, I downloaded the files that we're going to need, and now we're going to power off the device. That way we can boot it up into uh, the custom recovery and install the custom firmware. Okay, to go into your custom recovery, you need to hold down both of the volume buttons and power at the same time. It will pop up just like that. And you use left and right on your volume. The left is volume down, by the way. 
and so we'll just go to the right recovery mode and hit your power button to start it up or to boot it into recovery make sure you're unlocked so obviously you had to have gone through the steps before you get to this so now we're going to go to install using internal SD download and uh, click on the liquid JB version 2.1 file um, add more zips no we're just gonna flash this for right now it's racing the system mounting the system installing the system and it's already done what the heck that was fast so now I'm going to go ahead and wipe the cache and Dalvik cache now is that do you have to do that that's what I'm gonna do it's done so now I want to reboot it into recovery mode and then I'm gonna install the Google Apps why I don't know I've had a problem before where I've installed Google Apps right on top of a custom firmware so just to be safe and it doesn't take but a second I'm going to install it after I reboot back into recovery so Google Apps going to install them Google Apps for version or Android version 4.2.1 says right there and I'm going to wipe the cache and Dalvik cache again I know a little redundant probably doesn't matter it only takes a second it isn't gonna hurt anything does it help maybe now we're going to reboot the system and we should be good to go and there you go here's a liquid smooth boot animation and once this boots up make sure we did everything successfully and I will do another video reviewing this ROM keep in mind that it does take a while to boot up after you flashed a custom ROM for the first time subsequent boot ups are are usually faster actually than stock so just depending on the build and we are at beta 2 so it should be um, everything should be working fine but we'll do a review video coming up and I'm gonna fast forward this until we boot up here and make sure everything boots up fine okay guys so I was stuck in a boot loop so what you need to do if that happens to you is you hold both volume buttons and power navigate over to recovery mode you'll see it over here on the left just like you've done before hit the power button that will boot you up into your team win your twerp as I call it recovery and from here what I did I honestly don't know if you need to do the fix permissions but like I said it doesn't hurt I fixed the permissions then I went to wipe and I went to factory reset wipes data in cache also once that's done then I just went to um, reboot system yeah like I said I've had that happen before where certain ROMs for some reason they uh, stick you in a boot loop right off the bat so anyway if you flash the custom ROM and it boots up to the boot animation and it stays bright for over a minute you're probably stuck in a boot loop because um, if you're not stuck in the boot loop it will dim the brightness which means everything's working okay so which this popped up to the welcome screen you know after about a minute or so so it doesn't take more than a couple minutes at max to know if you're stuck in a boot loop or not and need to do the factory reset so I will 
sign in and everything and do a review video of this ROM. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, once again, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.